I assume that's yep. ghost cloaking. Yeah, it was personal cloaking. And not Banshee cloaking. And here we go once again. Sin looking like he wants to poke forward through the center of the oh, map. What an army of Sin as well. Vikings gonna come for one siege tank, just dies immediately. But listen to the snipes going down. Every broodlord dies. Here come the banelings. Getting a ton of damage. Nice EMPs right there by Torzen on a lot of those infestors. I'm not sure if it's gonna be enough for Sin. Beautiful spread by Torzen. Wow! Sin just crushing right through, but Thorzen with just enough, and Sin turned around again. Ghost gonna push forward and try to pick off a couple of these Ultralisk Marauders doing work as well. Sin forced to retreat all the way back to his natural. Thorzen still sitting at a very strong 180 supply. Sin gonna remax on his next cycle. Uh, Sen still being active, but both of these guys are always being active. Meanwhile, Sen is going to try to clear off. We do see personal cloaking being used right now. We do not have an overseer here. A few of those marauders did fall. Uh, these links are actually very annoying right now for, uh, uh, for Torzen, but he does have a couple of marines in position. I don't think it's going to be enough, and he's going to have to cancel this command center. Yeah, that command center is not going to be wow. able to get anything done. But look at Thorzen. He's got command centers all across the bottom of the map. He has completely split crevasse, and he is getting the better of every exchange these two players make. Sin continue to make Ultralisks, Zerglings, and Banelings. And I, I'm not so sure about that unit composition. One more big fight here in the middle of the map. A lot of cloak going down, but here come the Lings and the Banelings once more. Well, we have a lot of tanks, though. Tanks were not completely seized up yet. Here we go right now. Thorzen still 180 supply. Banelings dealing a ton of damage. The supply of Sin plummeting, but he is starting to clean up some of this Ghost, and Marauder's gonna push forward once again, but there's not a lot of energy left for Snipe, and these Ultras might do a ton of damage here, Roddy. On the right top side of the map as well, Torzen still dropping, taking out another hatchery. Torzen will be able to hold in the middle of the map as well. Wow, fantastic play by Torzen. Also is starting to push down into Thorzane's natural. Some siege tanks are going to fall here. And uh, Thorzane seems to be not watching right now. These ultras really paying for themselves here. Six kills and I don't know how many because it died before I could click on him. Uh, oh, and there's the GG from Sin. Wow. Thorzane's not done yet, Roddy. Thorzane is far from done. That's one of the best games of the tournament I've seen from Thorzane as well. It's just fantastic how well he's able to control his army in the middle of the map, always having tanks in pretty much good positions, and still dropping in that phase of the game, having Marauders, having Marines on the left side of the map, Marauders sniping hatcheries on the right side of the map. Uh, that was a fantastic game by Thorzane. A little it bit really of talk was. between the two players there. I was hearing on my mic. Thorzane like, hey, how many games have we played again? <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, so uh, it is now Sin's pick once again. There's only two maps left. I, Shakur's Plateau and Taldarim. Taldarim Altar. No, Dual Sight. Okay. Dual Sight. Is gonna there be is the no next Taldarim. Map. Then, I guess not. That makes sense. So, uh, we're just going to wait for these guys to host up the game, and we will jump into game number six. Thorzane wants that, wants that extra 4K, man. No, who doesn't? Can't blame him. 3 2 for Sen. Uh, next map is indeed going to be dual side, so that's going to be a lot smaller. Obviously, a map which is very um, yeah, sensitive for certain pushes mm -hmm. like towards the on Shadow Temple. Yeah. Uh, smaller map, but still a very open map. Expansions everywhere. I hear a lot of uh, thunder stick clapping. Is that what they're called? Thunder sticks? Yeah. Well. That's awesome. <laughs> this is uh, StarCraft II's version of the Vuvuzela. <laughs> oh no, not the Vuvuzela, <laughs> man. Europeans have traumas about that thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really good idea for season three. <laughs> Great split, and everyone is like. <laughs> 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 All right, guys, here we go. Game number six on dual side. Let's make some noise for our players. Spawning down here in the bottom left-hand position. If you want to see a Game 7, let's cheer for Thorzen! <laughs> and his opponent, the Red Zerg in the top right, one game away. It is Gamma Bears Sin! <laughs> You're feeling that energy. All right, man. Two-player map. It means uh, one base plays can be really annoying here. Early pushes can be really annoying here. 
Uh, but more than anything, Zerg is able to be super mobile on dual site. Third bases are very, very difficult to take. 